What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike. And I'm John. And we're the DIY Topic Guys. On this channel, we give you guys an inside look at the hottest trending topics making the most noise around the world today. Our style, three topics for three minutes each. That way you guys can get in, get the news, or whatever we want to talk about, and get on with your day. Today's topics, we are talking about California removing the social distancing requirement. We're talking about Joe Biden not including the promised land of student loan forgiveness in his most recent budget. And we're going to be continuing our 90s nostalgia hit. So if you guys are new here, thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure you guys subscribe down below, like, comment. Let us know what you guys think about these topics, anything else you guys want us to hit on as well. Also, if you guys are returning, thank you guys so much for being here and continuing to support us. Make sure you guys are following us on all the socials, at DIY Topic Guys. And let's hop into this right now. All right, John, California is officially announcing that they will remove social distancing requirements as of June 15th. What are your thoughts? It's crazy it's taken this long, but I mean, across the board, I mean, we're just as bad as them here in Jersey, but it's for a state that's been locked down since like the beginning. It's pretty crazy they're finally getting around to it now a year and a half later. It's, I don't know, man, what do you, what do you, what do you think? What do you think? I mean, I know, I kind of know what you think, but let, let me let me hear what you think. I think it's all a big bullshit type thing. Um, they went from being super duper duper strict. I have a friend out in California, and he went from like months of back and forth. I can't get these permits. I got to be able to, I need permits to be able to open up. Then they're saying I can't do anything. Then we're going backwards. We're closing down again. <laughs> then in a matter of like three days, they opened up. So they're allowed to do outside again. Then they're allowed to do inside again. And now within, and during that time frame, their governor has had the threat of being basically their version of being impeached. And now a month later, they're- Everything's opened up, we're gonna go. Or we're yeah. going to be opened up. But all these places that are following this suit gave Texas the world of hell for doing it. Mm -hmm. Like same thing with Florida too. Like, and guess what? They're fine. In fact, here's a statistic for you. More than 61,000 people have died from the virus in California. More than any other state in the country. They were one of the most strict. Please explain those numbers to me. Explain that logic. They, there is no logic. It's exactly. just, it's control. And I can't wait for the, just how all these Trump lawsuits are coming out about like power grabs and whatever. And you're going to see, I know Cuomo up in New York has had oh, so yeah. many scandals. You know that all these other people are going to have these scandals about what's going on and how to handle that and what <laughs> how is they've been coming screwing out of the it. average person. They've just been making money in backdoor deals. And yeah, no, I get it. It it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it's it's absurd. So the physical distancing will no longer be a restriction in attendees uh, for attendees, but you still have to wear a mask. It makes sense. But didn't we just hear the other day that we don't need masks? So California, they we're, they're following the science, but not following the science from those the CDC. You know. So does this have anything to do with MIT saying that you don't actually gain any benefit from social distancing? So you might as well just take it away. It does, but it doesn't. Apparently, they're they're they're, they're cherry picking like everything else. So like one one more quick stat with this here. So. A, the state is nearly 40 million people, right? And they administered nearly 35 and a half million vaccine doses. Then they went on to say that three quarters of residents over 65 received at least one dose. Now, again, I'm not a mathematician by any stretch of the means. Those numbers don't add up at all. Well, people in California don't think very much, so that's fair. maybe they make sense to them. That is fair. Or maybe if they went to school, and were capable of getting the Biden student loan forgiveness that was campaigned for in his political ascent to lies and everything else, or I mean, being president. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Biden's upcoming budget does not include his promise that he campaigned on to forgive up to $10,000 per student loan. Whoa, do you see what color this is? It's shocked. Color me shocked <laughs> because I'm not surprised at all. Like weird, a uh, politician made promises and is not keeping them. Well, technically he said he would support canceling up to $10,000. So technically if you cancel zero, it's up to. that still is up to 10,000. Um, 
other things. Democrats have been pushing this since before the election. Elizabeth Warren, uh, I think Chuck Schumer is another one. They want to give away $50,000 worth of... That, yeah, they want to relieve it. Relieve $50,000. I'm all for that. Well, I just so happen to have about $50,250 <laughs> in student loan debt. I would love to get $50,000 wiped away. Give them... Just write a check for $250 and call it a day. And be done with it. I would love that. If only... Yeah, I would love it too. I'm swimming on a little more than double that, but it's like they're never going to do it because it's we're ingrained in the system. The whole thing is to keep us paying for all these years and to keep us locked in. It's not they they can promise whatever they want, but then when they go in they see what the real how the country really works and how the economy really works, they're like, "Oh, this is billions and billions of dollars that we can't get rid of. We're just not going to throw it away." Yeah, so he's had a couple options of ways to kind of throw it in there to kind of hit on his promise. So the stimulus bills that he signed, he left it out of. He deferred payments until September, which technically doesn't really matter to anyone because it just pushes it just, just pushes the line down the yeah. yeah. The line, the line down if you're further. deferring a 20, 35 year loan for six months, eight months, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't when matter. It's a drop like, in the bucket. Yeah. Like you're still making all the interest on that. So these lies, broken promises, whatever I'm sure that no matter what they do, if they do do it, it'll be the, right at the end of his campaign trail or something. Right and, before election time. Right. They'll look drop at, it in and be like, look at how good the Democrats are. Look at how much good we did for you guys. Well, that won't work though, John, because he's going to be dead by then. Well, Cam Camilla, Cam Kamala, Camilla, whatever the fuck you want to say your name. The girl with the, the VP with their leg spread, she will... Yeah. Claim that it's hers. He'll be deemed incapacitated in two years so that she'll take over. Then she'll run for two consecutive terms. So she'll be the first female president and she'll also be the only president mm -hmm. to serve for 10, ten years, years since FDR. Insane. So move on to something a little more fun. I like fun as opposed but, to you talking about people who lie all day. You know, so a little more 90s, picking back up on our list. If I recall, we left off on, well, we'll be number four. Numero four. You want to? You want to hit this or? So, big Friends fan, wondering if Ross and Rachel would ever get back together. You know what, though? We might have a chance to find out soon. Uh, they're doing that reunion thing or whatever. Like a, It's not a tour, but I want to call it like a reunion tour. Yeah, I didn't understand what that was. I didn't like, really get it either. It, it's like they're they're alluding that they're going to do a season, kind of, but like it just looked like a docu-series is what it looked like to me. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. Uh, probably. You know, what It's going to be great. What else is going on? If you haven't seen Friends, you probably should. Some of it probably won't click because it's so old by now. But like, it's just it's a great, it's a classic. You know, it's a classic. Were moment. they on a break? Who knows? In your they eyes? say yes, they say no. Uh, I don't know. What's a break? You know, it's, 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 why get tied down with words and stuff and <laughs> meanings? You know, like they were, they were. You know, let's leave it at that. I think they would appreciate that. So I feel like this one did not resonate with us because we are not of the female <laughs> race, but. I do, or gender, or whatever yeah. they like to be called Desert, these days, I don't know. know. Trying to determine which Spice Girl you were most like. I tried to determine which one I would most like to poke. <laughs> that was my, my thing growing up. Like, I was like, this one's hot. Like, look at that fucking uh, baby spice or whatever. And like, you know, I don't remember. Uh, Posh Spice. Scary ass Spice. I tell you, scary. <laughs> she's not looking that bad now. She married, uh, what's his face? Um, Posh? Uh, one of them. No, scary. Scary Peckham. Scary Peckham. Was, it, was it Posh Peckham? I don't know. Yeah, Posh. I don't know. Whatever. It, the point is, Spice Girls were a huge thing in the 90s. <laughs> like, Spice up your life. Yeah. If you want to be my lover. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Same no. One? Not the same, but, no. but it's, those, it's 90s. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll skip past them. 90s uh, nostalgia. So, here's a big one that people probably won't. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's, it's super good. So, getting stoked about showing off your new Trapper Keeper for the year. Do, oh, do, do you remember these? These things were nuts, dude. Do they still make them, I wonder? Like, I kind of want to get a Trapper I don't know. Keeper. I feel like these are like the starter jackets. I hope they're on this of, list. Of school, of, of school wear. Yeah. Of the, the, the school, like, not a utensil, but like of school, school stuff, you know? Like, so for anyone who doesn't know, a Trapper Keeper is basically like your binder. It's a three-ring binder. It's, yeah. it's a fancy-looking three-ring binder. Is you what open it, is. it up one way, you open it up the other way, and you got all your paper and everything in there, but the outside really showcased really how you I'll were. I'll throw some dope ones up here. They'll be looking good. Yeah. Like, your Trapper Keeper told everyone that you were a cool kid. If it's almost it like not, a book sock. It's, yeah. like, it's like, what did it say about you? 
Yeah. Yeah. Man. Um, we'll hit this one real quick. The joy of get, just really, we can really cut this even half. Like the joy of just Blockbuster as a whole, but really the joy of getting that last movie of the one you're picking at Blockbuster. So you get there, you're like, oh, it's the hottest movie of the year right now. Hot, biggest, biggest Blockbuster of the week. You get there, <gasps> one copy of Ghostbusters 2. I don't know. It, it, do you remember those? Do you remember like the smell of Blockbuster alone? Like it, it is very distinct. That people don't understand. Blockbuster renting videos in general, all of that, that whole nostalgia. I remember Tom and Jerry for Sega Genesis. I used to go to the store all the time and I used to check if they had it. They never had it and I remember they had it one day and it was like the the day would kind of turn over at like eight o'clock and it was like 7.50. And I made my mom get it, and she was like, no. I was like, mom, no, we have to wait until 8 o'clock so we get an extra day. And then someone came in, and they tried to take it from me, and I was holding it. Man. I get it, man. We've all been there. That's my first Well, maybe not all of us. Some people missed out. A lot of you missed out. So, what can you do? We got through seven so far. But you know what? We're, we're cruising through three or four an episode. Not too bad. Speaking of episodes, that's going to do it for this one. Appreciate you guys checking us out. If you are new here, thanks again. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like down below, all that stuff. To recap, this episode, we talked about three things as per usual. We talked about California removing their social distance guidelines. Finally, it's only been a year and a half. We talked about Biden, how he's probably not going to live up to the fact that he promised about all that student loan forgiveness. And finally, we hit a couple more of that huge, amazing, awesome list of 90s nostalgia. Again, thanks a lot for checking us out. Comment, subscribe, like, all that stuff. You guys know what to do. We'll see you next time.